So what's up folks, I'm Jacob. And the idea behind this video is trying to help people who are trying to prepare all the necessary documents to go to Indonesia and are having trouble, like I myself had some days ago. Uh, the problem is that due to the pandemics, we are supposed to install an app created by the Indonesian government called Paduli Lindungi. And a lot of people are having trouble with this app, especially in recognizing their certificates from their own countries. In my case, I'm from Brazil. I got all my three shots here in Brazil. And the database the Indonesian government had didn't recognize my vaccination, especially because the vaccinations in Brazil are not registered under my passport number, but under the equivalent of a social security here in Brazil. So I had to go to another website to register. Yeah. So that's the thing here. I'm just going to sum up. If you're trying to go to Indonesia, effective from April the 6th, you can enter the country via airplane. If you're from all these countries that I'm showing on the screen, if you are arriving in all these international airports. And before you were supposed to enter via Bali or Riau, which was pretty expensive, like the the air tickets from most of the world to Bali are much more expensive. If you try to arrive in Jakarta, you're supposed to stay in a hotel in quarantine. These hotels were pretty expensive because there's, you're supposed to stay in specific hotels. So for most people, it was not a good deal, right? And now you can go and enter Indonesia once you have all your shots and you register in these websites. So let me just show what's happening there. You're supposed to enter so pedulilidungi.id or you download the app and you enter your email, right? Go through this step. There you go. And you open. And they will send a code to your email. And you go there, it's, it, it will probably go to your spam box, the So mine is this one, right? And there you go, you have your account. Problem here is you have to go through a lot of steps. First off, you go here, Akunsaya. If you are using the app, you will have down there a field called Bahasa. It means language in Indonesian. So you can change to English, Spanish, Japanese, and some other languages, right? I'm trying here the website, but it's relatively simple. And you go and you fill out all the information. Once you fill this, you go to Perbarui Profil. This is, you will choose that you are a uh, national from another country, from a foreign country. The words are these, Warga Negarasin. And you put your name, your country, your passport goes with the codes, a three-letter code, and they will have a page showing the equivalent if you're from Singapore, from Brazil, from the United States, and so on, your birthday and your email. In the app, once they, they release this, this app, once you try to add this field, your email, I received a lot of error messages because I tried in English. So I have to go back, change to Indonesian. And once I filled out this, this, this field in Indonesian, they accept it. But if you try to add your telephone number, forget it, buddy. You will only have the options of Indonesian phones I tried to, to check the code here, to inspect the codes. There is no, not even a choice of between countries. Like the only possible option here is Indonesian phones. So ignore this. Don't, it's not a problem. You don't need this, this field here. Once you save this in PAN, you add this data to their da database, you go to here you will try to get your vaccination certificates. And that's the problem because I was trying to enter this place and fill all the data and they show an error message saying, 
this data is not in our database, contact our help here. After a lot of research, I found out that you're supposed to fill in another formulary here in this website, okay? Nowhere in the app they're telling about this website, and that's a problem. And this is an official website. This ChemKiss is like the, the Ministry of Health in Indonesia. So again, you have, you're supposed to create an account here in case your country didn't send this information to Indonesia, is my case, Brazil. And then you fill out the blanks here. Same thing, they will ask you your passport and a copy of your passport. So you just scan or take a good picture of it and they will have a field here, you upload. Same thing for each, certificates of vaccination. You're supposed to tell what kind of vaccination it is. Sinovac, in my, in my case, when you took this vaccine and a copy of the certificates that your country is supposed to emit. And you do this one by one. You send, in my case, I send on Sunday, I think, and I got the answer today on Monday. It was pretty quick and then send you via email. You will receive an email from this address here. It's Kementerian Kasehatan RE. And they say, hi, your name, congrats, your vaccination verification request is completely approved. Once you have this, you can go back to the Peduli Lindungi app and there your information will be available. And you go again to this Certificat Vaccine you fill the information and they say, if they checks, they will show you that you're good to go, okay? And it will be available here. Let me show you guys. It will show your name. You click your name and they say, already vaccinated. At first you, are, you have like a, a red message here if it's green, you're good to go. You're, you can enter the country and your app will generate a QR code with which you can enter public buildings, sometimes nightclubs, stuff like that. Without this, you don't go anywhere in Indonesia. You can go to beaches basically, right? With this, you can enter the country, no problem. And you are free from your quarantine hotel, good? So if you have any questions, you can post the comments. I hope this helps you because the app is not helping much people now. I've sent already some emails to the app developers. I hope they fix this because I'm sure a lot of people are eager to enter Indonesia like I am right now. And I hope you guys have a good trip. So take care.